Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So let's talk about how to use UTM emulator to run Windows on iPad and iPhone. Now this is gonna be a quick beginner tutorial. So let's get started. So first things first, what is UTM? So before we get into that, I'm gonna show you how it looks like. So this is what you should expect. So imagine you're running Windows 10, Windows 11 on your iPhone XR, iPhone 15 or 16, like this one, just like a normal tablet. Imagine you can play your games, you can create your PowerPoint presentations, you can create your Word document just by using your phone. It's going to be a portable computer just by the power of your hands, right? Imagine you're also using a powerful phone for this one. Now, this becomes possible by UTM. should be looking like this. I'm just going to go on App Store. So everything here, the idea of bringing Windows to iOS has become possible or probable rather under this application. So it's going to be UTMSE Retro PC Emulator. Should be this one right here. Now I just found us this one about a month ago. And it's really good. Because it's an emulator for your Windows PC that it can happen on your phone. So what are the benefits? So there's localization. There is simplified localization. And this is how it should look like inside it. Alright, this is going to be it. As you can see, these are games of our Retro PC that you can really play inside your phone you can even code guys for all of the coders out there for all of the it right there you can also do that so before we get into it and how to install this one what are the benefits of this specific process so the utmse supports full windows 10 installation it can work and you can install in one full desktop version for 86 and arm on iphone it works best with irm 64 builds of windows 10 Moving forward, it does not require a jailbreak. So if you're using a phone that has jailbreak or doesn't have jailbreak option just yet, it doesn't require to be jailbreak to proceed with UTM. And it can be sideloaded using Alstor, sideload the control store. Now, decent emulation and virtualization. On your iPhones, for example, with A14 chip and above, I think those are iPhone 12, performance is surprisingly usable, especially for the lightweight window apps. I'm going to talk about the lightweight window apps later on. Also, another thing to take note of is the offline usage. Alright guys, just hear me out on this one. Once installed, this application can run offline, just like your PC. UTM Messi and the guest OS can run completely offline. Now, so those are the pros, right? Now, what are the cons? Now, for the cons, there is a performance limitations. Of course, again, this is just a phone, so your emulation is a CPU-intensive and not as fast as a native application or your computer. Don't expect smooth performance with heavy apps like Adobe Suite or modern games. Again guys, it's just a phone. An Intel 86 version of Windows 10 are slower than ARM builds. Take note about that one. Another con is touch interface limitations. So Windows isn't optimized for touch. It has a mouse for that, right? So since you're using your phone, unless you can connect your mouse to your phone, it's just going to be a touch screen option. Also, storage usage. A full Windows 10 image takes up a lot of space, typically 10 to 20 gig, which is a significant chunk on a device with lower storage. So battery drain. Running a full OS inside an emulator significantly affects your battery life. So I'm going to show you. I've been seeing some full OS, some lightweight OS. I'm going to tell you all about it later on. Now for the complicated setup. So setting up a UTM acquiring a Windows iOS or ISO. Configuring virtual hardware and it should only take time and some technical knowledge. And with that being said, my verdict for this one, for tech enthusiasts, developers, and users needing official Windows access, this is for you. So let's get started about the Windows OS I've been talking about earlier. So here where it goes in. I'm just going to open this one. Again, guys, you need to install the UTM, right? Let's just say you installed it. Next up, you're going to need to install this one. So go on crustywindow.os. Look for the one that says Windows Time Extreme Light. So let me just go back on the very start point so you can have a process and step by step. Let me just go one back one more time. And this is how it should look like from the landing page of this website. So these are Windows OS for bootlegs that can really work on your process right now. Now, for example, you're looking for Windows 1, 2, 3, 9, and so on and so forth. So since this topic is about Windows 10, 
I really suggest you click Windows 10 right there. Perfect. Now this is the one I'm talking about earlier, the full OS and the light version. So since we're only using a phone, I suggest you look for the extreme light. This one right here, all right? By clicking on that one, you're gonna have this one. It's just like a Wikipedia page. Now you might be asking me, where is the download button for this one? It's gonna be here. The download link is gonna be right there. And once downloaded, it takes around five minutes and you'll be good to go. Now moving forward, let's go back on the publication of UTM. Now once you're here, this is where it gets interesting. So I'm gonna click on continue right there. Now I'm gonna click on the plus icon since we're gonna add a new machine. And for this one, we're gonna look for the one we have downloaded. All right, so for this one, make sure you click on browse, boot iOS image. And with this one, look for the one that says Windows or the Windows earlier. And there we have it. All right, and basically click on legacy hardware for this one and click on continue. Now we're having this. So what's next for this one? Now take note that this might take a few moments since this is an operating system on the phone, right? It might take a few while. So this is gonna be uh, a little patience. So please take note what I'm about to do this one. For the memory, I'm gonna decrease this one to 1024. I think let me just d dive on that one. Again, that will be 1024. And then I'm gonna click on continue. Make sure this is 8664. Click continue for this one. Now size of the drive, I'm just gonna remain as it is. So again, guys, take note of whatever I'm doing here. Now for this one, I'm just gonna click on continue. I'm gonna check whatever I did here, if I'm satisfied. Now again, that will be a virtual machine, a legacy hardware, a one gig default core eight gig, and basically click on save. Now we have a virtual machine. How can we make this work? Now going back on the UTM right this one, right there, we have successfully created a virtual machine, right? Now here's where it's to get interesting. I want you to click or make sure everything you have here is the one you're looking for. Just double check on the metrics, okay? Now once it's settled, once you have everything completed and made sure you have everything, click on this option right there on the lower right side. Look for information. And since we're using OS, go for operating system. And this is what we have here. All right, we have so much OS here. Now look for the one you're pretty compatible with. So I'm looking for Chrome here, Mozilla Firefox, Safari, and the works. So I'm looking for Windows also. So I'm just gonna scroll down and I have Windows right there, okay? So once I select Windows here, I'm gonna go back on the top section, like so. Go back right there and basically click on save. Now everything is settled, everything here is good to go. What's next? So for this one, I'm just gonna simply click on play. Now once I click on play for this one, the fun starts. It's gonna boot up, it's gonna log in, it's gonna run the OS on my phone moving forward. Just expect a few minutes of installation since this is a operating system. Other than that, you'll be good to go. With one click of a button, your operating system will run on your phone. Just follow the steps I mentioned earlier to the T and you'll be good to go. Alright? So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.